Welcome back guys. In this video, I will be helping you to bypass the BitLocker screen that asks you for the password while logging to your computer. Now this can be for your Windows 10 or Windows 11. And if you have the same problem where you don't remember the password and even you don't know how to find the recovery key, then make sure that you watch the video till then. Now there are two different ways to recover this password in order to bypass this screen. Number one, I will be explaining you a way through which you can find out the recovery key that I'm very sure you have saved either to your Microsoft account, to your flash drive, or probably somewhere on your computer. And number two, if nothing works for you, then you will have to finally reset your computer. All right, so let's go with the first solution here. So what you will have to do here, you have to press the escape key. Again, press the escape key, and the BitLocker recovery page will be loading up. This will again come to the recovery page. Now here you have to click on skip this drive. Then you have to click on troubleshoot. Then click on advanced options. Then click on command prompt. Now, if you have saved the recovery key somewhere in your computer, then what you will have to do, you need to type here notepad, hit the enter key, then click on file in the notepad, then click on open. And now here you can look for that particular folder or location where you have saved the recovery key. So you need to find the recovery key either through this method or if you have saved the recovery key in your USB flash drive, then you have to connect to the computer, then click on this PC, then you can click on that particular USB drive to get the recovery key. Now in case if you have saved to the Microsoft account, then you need to come to this website account.microsoft.com slash devices slash recovery key. The link will be in the description. You can log into this website from any other device, like from your mobile or any other computer. So once you will come up here, you will find here your recovery key. In case if you have saved it to the Microsoft account. So once you have the recovery key, again, you have to go back to the main computer where you have the problem. You can close the notepad and everything. And now in the black window, you will have to type manage dash BDE space dash status. Hit the enter key. Now this will display all kind of your drive. And in order to identify that which drive has been encrypted with the BitLocker, so you will find the status BitLocker version. So that indicate that this drive has been locked with BitLocker. As we can see the other drive, it says BitLocker version none. So that means that this drive has not been encrypted. All right, so now we have to look for this volume C. Now the next command that you will have to do it will be manage BDE space dash unlock. Then you have to type that drive letter. So I can see this is a C drive. So I will type C colon space dash RP. And now here you have to enter that recovery key that you find from the Microsoft account, from the USB flash drive, or through the document on your computer. So let me quickly enter the recovery key here. So once you have entered the recovery key, you have to hit the enter key. And now you will see it says the password successfully unlocked volume C. But we also need to disable the BitLocker. So for that, the next command will be manage dash BD space dash protectors space disable. Then you have to type the drive letter. So that is again C colon and hit the enter key again. And now you'll see it says key protectors are disabled for volume C. All right, so we are all done. Just type exit, hit the enter key, then click on continue. The computer will now be booting up without asking the BitLocker key, and it will directly take you to the login page. All right, so this is the only method through which you can bypass the BitLocker page while logging to your computer. Now, in case if you are not able to manage recovery key, then in that case, finally, you will have to go ahead and reinstall Windows 11 again. For that, you will have to need a Windows 11 or Windows 10 bootable USB. Then you have to connect it, for which I have already created a different video. You can watch that video in case this method doesn't work for you. All right, so guys, hopefully you will find this video helpful and the solution to fix and bypass this problem. And if you found this helpful, do not forget to like and subscribe. And I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.